I'm in the backyard of a North Macomb County, Michigan resident working on yard drainage. Anytime I see a scenario like this where you have two structures so close together, it's really, really tough. The water gets trapped between the two structures. It compromises a structure. It's something we see on a regular basis. So what we do, we dig down around the garage and we want to go below the floor. We want that to be deep. That's going to be an open French drain. Grass is not going back on top of that. And the downspouts, we're managing the downspout water by running away from the house. We're taking this downspout. There's a bunch of cobble on the other side of that fence. It's going to act as a dry creek bed. So we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to pick up this downspout right in our open French drain and run that out into the parking lot area in the front of the garage. Another downspout that's causing problems, somebody put it in and the pop-up's right there. The water just pours right behind this garage. So we're going to go under the sidewalk and we're going to tie that into our open French drain. We took the fence apart here so we can get through. We're going to take this water, pick up that downspout, and dump it right at the street. We got the city storm drain right there. These N NDS 9x9 basins, they're virtually indestructible. They really are. I truly believe that. So where cars are going to end up potentially driving over top of... Now, in all my videos, I show that I don't like inlet basins. This is, this is an outlet. This is the discharge. And a pop-up normally would do, but where a car is going to be driving over repeatedly, I want to use the NDS 9x9. For all your yard drainage solutions, give us a call.